I try to run again. Okay, so it's working fine. So this is such easy. Just Hi everyone, welcome back. There were many requests about how to use OpenCV in the Visual Studio Code site and in this video I'm gonna show how to build and run a simple OpenCV C++ project in the Visual Studio Code site. And uh, um, I'm gonna show two ways. The first way is gonna be the ugly way but the fastest way. Maybe in you just need to uh, run a, or try a simple code so you can use this way maybe. And all I need to do is just first of all creating a simple C++ project. I mean the C++ file. Just call it opencv test.cpp. Okay. After this is done, and uh, just open the Visual Studio Code and here just drag the file into here. Okay, sorry. This one. And uh, just write a simple imp show example. Include opencv. Yeah, this way actually the first way is gonna be ugly because uh, it's not gonna uh, show the hint for example even including or other typing things. But uh, if you already have a ready code then you can just paste it into here then you can try this way. Okay, opencv.hpp and uh, after that just create the main and uh, okay the first gonna be we are gonna create image is equal to imread and uh, I have a Lena image in here, just copy that one, Op copy and paste into here and after that just simply im show and we can see it's working fine or not. Okay, frame and uh, image and of course wait key. Oops, okay, now it is done. Of course, it's not recognizing and it's not also showing me hint when typing mat or imread kind of things. So all I need to do is just calling an, a command line which is gonna help us to run this OpenCV example. Um, I'm already in that folder, so I just need to call, for example, there is a command line I'm always showing in my videos, uh, not this one. There should be something G++ and this one, okay. So all I need to do is just change the name of OpenCV test. Okay, and uh, I think it's done. So what this command line is actually doing, if you uh, install the OpenCV uh, properly, then uh, it's gonna recognize when giving this OpenCV for or which name you are, uh, which name you installed. You just need to change here maybe if OpenCV or kind of other names. Then you are just uh, typing it into here and it's, uh, you are adding the lips and the flags. Then it's gonna just get the configuration and it's gonna create an executable output file. Just run this one and after that we are gonna get an error which is... Um, okay, which error we are getting? Um, let's check in the main... Um, okay, this is doesn't have return maybe because of that one. Just try again. Yeah, that's why. So this already created an output file in here, which is here. This is an executable. So I can easily also run this one and I can, uh, I already run my code. So if you just want to try simply a code, how it's working or kind of things, you can try this method. I'm gonna paste this command line into the description so you can copy and uh, you can use anytime if you need it. Okay, this was the first way and ugly way, but the fastest way. So I'm gonna close this one. The second way, which is the beautiful way, just I need to create a new folder into here. So open CV test me with the folder name. And okay. So after that, uh, maybe I can like this drag. Okay, that's beautiful. Um, this is done. Uh, before maybe starting, also I need to tell there are some extensions which you already need to install. The first one is C, C++. You need to install this kind of um, compiler. And after that also you need to CMake tool, which is maybe I can just type CMake tools or kind of, yeah, this one, which is already installed in my case. Also, this C compiler, one of them, you need to install before starting to this one. Okay, if these are already done, we can pass to the projects part. And here, um, I'm just gonna add a new file, which is gonna be my main.cpp. Okay, and also I need one more which is gonna be my cmake, so just cmakelist.txt and all is done actually, so um, already I have a OpenCV project which in here, so I mean 
that is a simple info so I can just copy that and paste it into my new project so I, I just want to see it here also because but this way uh, it's gonna recognize it's gonna help me to also typing but how it's gonna be happen because we are gonna um, we are gonna in create a CMake list then it's gonna help us how, how it's gonna be for example um, just I need um, open CV CMake I'm typing into the here and it's gonna show me open CV documentation and here there is a this one just copy this into here and all you need to do is just changing the main.cpp or this project name you can change accordingly but for now we don't need that one and uh, all is done I think CMake is done okay um, this version let's try if it's gonna give me error okay yeah it's giving error what is saying uh, this is deprecated just try to give a proper version 3.0 is gonna be enough then try to run again okay so it's working fine so this is such easy just what we did is just created a CMake list and main CPP or according to your project you can add other uh, classes into here so um, just you need to uh, properly link the libraries into the CMake list then it's gonna find so for example if you try to type uh, let's say for example CVT color okay so anything is also showing me when typing so it's uh, the Visual Studio Code anymore uh, recognizing according to the CMake list so everything is fine in here so in this video I show two methods the first one easy also even for the first method you don't need v VS Code uh, you can even type just in open a terminal here you can type that command into here so you can run the code easily but just wanted to show you and the second method about CMake uh, all you need to do is just go to the OpenCV documentation and copy this into here uh, in here maybe you can only have problems about uh, if you didn't install the default places for example normally OpenCV is installed in the user local I think um, okay include okay normally OpenCV default installed into here but uh, if uh, you uh, you manually change the direction so maybe you can uh, extra you need to set the directories into here by the set function so for this video simply I just wanted to show how you can uh, use the OpenCV in the VS Code side normally we are always using the Qt creator uh, mostly we are gonna continue with the Qt but the people who can try the OpenCV C++ tutorials they can also now uh, try in the VS Code side thanks for watching see you in the next videos